Watch this, watch this, watch this. Whoa, look at that. How cool is that? And the other one does exactly the same. So this is another little Toyota Alphard. It's the three litre V6 petrol. And um, guess how many miles? If you watched our Friday video or Sunday video, I've probably already told you, if you watched it, you'll be able to guess and put it in the comments. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll come back to the mileage. You won't believe how many miles this has done. And it's not kilometers, it is actually miles. Um, it would be even less if it was miles. Kilometers. Kilometers, yeah. Lovely, lovely uh, interior. Really, really well looked after. And this sort of gives away a little bit of how many miles this has done, if you're just looking at the actual condition. Um, now, a lot of these haven't been done professionally. Um, they've been done by Bob in his garden um, and not done very well. This, however, has been done by New Dawn Conversions, a proper conversion company that do it all proper. So all your gas system is plumbed in properly with a proper gas box. All your electrics have been done properly um, and it's all been fitted out nicely. Again, can you remember we had that uh, motorhome re-upholstered? And yeah. it was in a very similar oh, colour was, to yeah. that, wasn't it? Yeah, it was I looked actually. at that and I was like, oh, well, that's similar to that one that we had done. So it's yeah. got the rock and roll bed. Um, so we'll have a look at that in a minute, how that comes out. We've got a little uh, fridge underneath there. It looks still like new. We have got our two burner Dometic rings and our little cold water tap just underneath of there. Uh, lighting all the way through. We've got our little canopy pop up. Um, little boards here. So if you wanted to put a little mattress in here and put another bed up, you can actually sleep three people. It would be a squeeze to put four people in this bed or for two, two, two children and your double bed down there. It's gonna be a squeeze in all honesty. So um, if you don't like them, you could put them both up there, I suppose. So two grandkids that you don't like up the top there, they won't come again, will they? They'll come once. They won't like it because they're in together and you don't have to take them again. So it's <laughs> not a bad idea actually, is it? Tell them, um, tell them. Yeah, that's it. Just throw them into the coffin up the top. <laughs> um, proper proper crash tested bed with two seat belts so it's got your four traveling seat belts again i don't think they've ever been used um i'm scared to touch them they're, they're that sort of not used little bit of storage oh whoops smashing it little bit of storage just underneath of the bed from the front here um storage around we've got the back of the the gas um box there we've got our little water container just in here so this goes literally from our pump um straight up and still a bit of storage in there how do you fill that up do you take it out so and fill literally it up? yeah can take that out and yeah. um, just go and fill it up at the tap okay. little locker just here again more storage and then again we've got our little buttons for our different sets of lights throughout how cool does that look Whoa. Um, got a little voltmeter on the side here so that'll tell us our voltage and then we can put our different bits and pieces on so we've got our van or car our water pump our lights and our auxiliary more storage again up the top here uh, and then we've got our little unit just on the side again for even more storage which is more accessible from the back so we'll have a look at that in a minute on the front so we're automatic we've got the air con and um, we've got a reversing camera on the back and i just need to make sure that, that is actually wired in and it does what it's supposed to do and um, it's had an upgraded pioneer head unit which is why i say i need to double check that reversing camera and make sure that that's doing what it should be doing um so yeah electric mirrors electric seats i yes, believe at the front obviously the back seat is just a, a normal rock and roll so it, these don't spin do they these um, front seats uh, let me double check i think that one might do i don't think the drivers does that um, so your rock and roll bed obviously just pulls out as normal which we'll look at properly uh, isn't electric it is just manual your doors as you saw are um electric and then on here we lift up our little button move that about and then that will spin round to the front there we go. again just come back forwards a little bit so 
that one does as I say driver's seat I'm pretty sure it doesn't um, it's literally literally just arrived so uh, I'm still figuring things out as we go through now one thing with these as I had mentioned is that we uh, we see a lot that haven't had the gas boxes done correctly so the way to know whether the gas box is done correctly and again this side door is electric is the gas pipe here so these should always be piped in properly with proper copper gas pipe and into a proper sealed little unit like that uh, most of them that are out there you'll see it just on a flexi hose right. so it's just on a sort of um, an orange gas pipe and it's not done correctly because obviously that gas pipe can wear out from underneath here you can't see what's going on there could be cracks in it could be blisters it could be that there's a screw gone through it and you don't know so um, that's why they should always be done in a proper gas pipe like that um, really 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 nice now mileage and again it is mileage not kilometers that this is in um, 37 thousand miles and um, so i think this is the lowest mileage camper that we've had um the tires have all been uh, replaced they were replaced a couple of years ago because again the problem is same, exactly the same with the caravans is great having the low mileage vehicles but it means that for sort of periods the great stuff with this jap stuff as well is always they're fully loaded aren't they look at all those steering wheel controls yeah, on them well, and everything half oh, of them not work it's, no because it's oh. had the upgraded head unit they, oh, right. they never tend to wire in the buttons oh. to the head unit so oh, that's a shame a uh, bit of a bit of a shame but um it's not the end of the world it's a new upgraded head unit so it's better so but yeah 37,000 miles um so really 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 low mileage um uh, tires as i say it's had it's had no tires on it's had a really good service history it was serviced just beginning part of the year we'll probably end up putting a new mot because it was um mot march, i think it was. it was about march yeah so we'll probably end up putting a new mot on it but really paint work look it's, i don't know whether you can see it on the camera it's, but it's so pleasant it's like isn't it in the sun one. there is a couple of little marks on the paintwork by the bump where it's oh, just, yeah. just caught or stone chips and what have you just um, chips. which um uh, yeah it's one of those i don't think we were planning on sort of doing it um in all fairness because it is just stone chips so it's again the problem is you have it done and then within first hundred miles you end up with exactly the same again but um we have a look through the back door beautiful beautiful you want to have a go back through the back door yeah can I have a look through your back door please thank you very much so again um uh, we've got a solar up on the roof can we Ooh. see the solar yeah, a little solar panel. I don't know if you can see the solar panel up on the roof. Oh. Can you see it? I don't know. Can you yeah, see it there? Possibly, yeah. So we've got yeah. a little solar panel on the roof. Um, so our little solar controller is here. Um, in the back here, we've got the covers. So it's got all of the proper little suction um, covers for the windows for either when it's really cold or through the summer. Um, so little privacy screens. And again, that's quite nice, isn't it? With little mm. magnets. Um, yeah. as i say really really w done nicely this is a nice conversion um, and properly done should we have a look at that bed um again you can when it's raining you've got a little seat and again if you was to go fishing or something you could sit here covered by the back door <laughs> so nice little steps uh, or little seats and uh, to keep you out of the weather if you sort of stopped off at the beach or something and you're traveling through and you're going off to europe then um pop this open bob's your uncle, bob's um, your uncle. nice little bit of storage again from this side here so loads of storage in there and again this can be driven on a normal license a couple of fuses in there uh, and a bit more storage again so very very nice um close that back down and we'll have a look at that bed uh 230 plug-in is just there and again that will plug in and not cause us any issues uh, once that's plugged in the door can still door. open um so that's not going to cause us a problem uh, little table then will pop off 
good size bed that is as well um, so plenty plenty of space even if you're really really tall you've got loads of room on there and again to put it back up I always struggle to put these back up to be honest all you're doing is pulling those seat belts out so I think the knack is actually to stand at the side you've not I was trying to do the lever and you're not going to do the lever um, mm. so that just puts this back in and again you always want to make sure when that goes back in that you've made sure it's actually locked as well as you'd be driving along and you hear a big bang. Yeah, all the kids come flying through the <laughs> yeah. window screen, aren't they? Uh, so, yeah, not a lot else that I've thought, sort of figured out just at the minute. Um, as I say, it's literally, literally just turned up. So um, it's just trying to sort of figure everything out, where all the switches are and how everything all goes. Um, if you're interested in this, as I say, um, it's going to be around about £23,000 we've got to figure out all the final sums but it's going to be about £23,000 uh, and it's at our garden but it's right so hopefully you've enjoyed our little look at the Toyota Alpha 3 litre V6 petrol and uh, we'll see you soon thanks for watching on Mark at the Caravan Place